This is my favorite thing so far. This is just absolute flavor explosion. Oh, cold. <laughs> Behind the scenes. What's up, everyone? If you're a returning viewer subscriber, thanks so much for the support. Hopefully, as we continue to grow, we can do more videos like the ones today. If you're new, I'm interesting. I retired in 2021 to travel and eat full time. If you want to see my journey or that sounds interesting to you, consider subscribing. In today's video, we are eating at arguably the best restaurant in Mexico. We will be ordering the tasting menu and eating the whole thing. We'll be trying seven different cocktails, some mezcal, and a bonus dessert. Please stay tuned till the end of the video to see some behind the scenes footage of the kitchen at Pujol. Back to the Taco omakase bar. We're here. We have terrific lighting. I might bust the headphones out for the mic, but um, welcome to Pujol. Ready? Okay. This is the snacks. Oh, it's kind of warm, which was surprising. Very, very good. A lot of flavor. Nice texture. Hopefully you heard that, but just a ton of flavor. And you can see like kind of the veggies under the avocado. Great way to start, very happy about this. A lot of flavor. I think I had this before. I don't remember this. The sauce is really good. Really, really good. The sauce is fantastic. There's mayo and then I think ants or something. Here's Krizia's highball. I think it's got like scotch or whiskey and some other fun stuff. Yunji got the Venus. Venus. It's gin and then guanabana and some other fun stuff. Looks really good. I thought about both of these drinks. Ooh, Patrick got the margarita. Black, black uh, volcanic salt. Tequila, no, mezcal. And then uh, chamomile honey or syrup. And then I got what I expected to be kind of like a Negroni, and that's what it looks like. I believe it's mezcal or an agave uh, spirit. And then there's chinar and campari. This is pretty much exactly what I wanted. Cheers, y'all. She loves gin. Chris, how's yours? Yeah, delicious. I tend to like these twists on Negronis. You get the Campari, I'm getting a little of the Chinar, and then, um, yeah, the Agave Spirit, whatever's in here, it's, it's great. Pretty sure, from what I remember, I had the carrot things before. They're better this time. The, uh, the mayo sauce was just so decadent and yummy. My cocktail's great, and then that sope with like the veg, the avocado, and the strano was such a good way to start. Well, let's see what else is coming, y'all. <laughs> She did not like it, folks. Good thing it's mine. <laughs> this is the uh, gin-based drink. Oof. Citrusy, a little sweet something. I don't know. It's pink and, and pretty. I uh, prefer mine, I believe. Muchas gracias. I hope you got his light laugh on uh, recording. So this is tuna from Ensenada. I missed something. There's like avocado puree, and then there's chives. There's some confusion whether we put the chives around. We got a, a couple high-fiving over a joke. Beautiful things, people. This could be a language thing, but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. When it's cold dishes. So there's the avocado puree I just talked about. Oh, on the bottom. Okay.
you're not hearing it, but when I eat it, you'll hear uh, some great ASMR friends. The ladies like it. Krizia's doing some uh, finger painting. So is Patrick. He's doing a lot better than the, the t Huevos Tibios this morning. So moving the chives around. Avocado puree. I mean, we had a tuna tostada yesterday at La Corriente. It was really good. I love tuna tostadas, tostadas de atun. Whatever is under the tuna, if you can see kind of that orangey pureeish thing, I'm not sure if it's coming through. There's something in between the tostada and the tuna, and just the texture is phenomenal. Mm. It's absolutely delicious. There's some sort of oh, there's just if you can come in here. This is just oil and fat. And the avocado puree is phenomenal. That would be so good on anything. A sandwich, a salad. Everything's so good. I just got the bite in the center. The best one yet. The avocado puree would probably also be good on a pizza. So Things are things are heading in the right direction and I'm I am sober right now, guys. For now. If you're following along with us, Patrick has gone to the bathroom for the second time here. We've only had two snacks. Actually, we've had snacks in, in the first course. So um, I'll update the Patrick potty counter in the bottom right as the <laughs> video continues. Not sure what's in there. Muchas gracias. It's a viche-ish dish. Looks very good. Some drizzle, some... I don't know if it's jicama or something for texture, some peppers, avocado, and a flour. Sea bass, ceviche, with a cilantro oil. And then this is leche de tigre, tiger's milk. And then there's a cucumber for texture, ginger, and some other stuff. Muchas gracias. So they said mix all the ingredients and then over here are corn tortillas to make a ceviche taco. And there's something red in there. Is it chili or a pomegranate seed or a nut? That looks like corn. Oh, corn kernels. Mm -hmm. Coated in chili perhaps. Then avocados, flowers. Avocados, flowers. Mix it up. So Yunji is a uh, colorist when it comes to tacos. She went for the Maiz Azul. Let's see what Krizia does. And the Philippines will select Yellow Maiz. I know what you're thinking. I'll try to uh, time lapse this or speed it up. Okay, listo? Si, listo. Looks yummy, survey says. <laughs> the ladies like it. You like it? Okay. They're all happy. All of them. Okay, so yeah, there are corn kernels. There is cilantro oil. I think it's the green, kind of the green beads or the cilantro oil. And then leche de tigre, tiger's milk. I have no idea what that actually is. And then I'm gonna break the rules here. The corn kernels are a very interesting texture. Super citrusy, super yummy. The fish is fantastic. I just missed my opportunity to get a there's no. Don't break the rules, guys. Make the taco. They take it seriously. It's good. I think I like it a lot for me so far. I really like the sope. I really like the mayo on the thing. I keep calling a carrot that was corn. Um, but maybe the tuna tostada for me 
is the is, is in the lead right now. I like this just maybe it's because I didn't make a taco. I'm sorry guys. I'll I'll hope some tortillas come back. Gracias. Ooh. Caliente. Super hot. Oh my god, it's hot. Ah. Okay. You guys don't make jokes when you're here. Bad things happen. It is, I highly recommend doing the taco and eating by itself. You do really get a lot of different textures. Really nice corn tortilla. I might actually like it better in taco form. Yeah, it's almost like they recommend it for a reason. I am going to ask for some Tapatio or Cholula or Mexico Lindo to spice it up, but... That's a joke, folks. That's a joke, guys, so... I think the most interesting thing, besides, like, the cilantro oil, the leche de tigre, the corn kernels, the sea bass, obviously, is delicious, great texture, but these um, corn kernels are so, so, like, almost raw al dente. They're so crunchy. The corn's great. And something I might not have talked about earlier is they talk about the menu being really based around corn, seafood, and vegetables. So we'll see you at the next dish. Gracias. A little chile relleno. Stuffed with chickpea puree and grilled octopus. Mexican herbs, some sort of puree. Mas tortillas have arrived. There's a stone in there eating a lot of tortillas. Patrick's the first to cut in. I'm just gonna go right in the center here. I don't know if this is like an ancho pepper or what. It looks very yellowy. And then you see the, uh, oh, multiple purees. So we've got that, we've got this green one. This might be the chickpea puree. Yep. Really nice flavors here. Wow. We're gonna go for a big bite, fam. Mm. Wow. If you've had too many drinks and you need to drive home, I'm just kidding. Drunk driving is never, never funny. This video is sponsored by Heineken Zero. What are you talking about? The ancho or whatever stuffed pepper this is, there's some heat. You're going to see some red in my face. You've got that green puree. You have got octopus, you have some sort of green on top. This is a true flavor bomb. This is why we eat, my friends. This is delicious. This is spicy, though. If you can handle it, still go for it, but this is hot. Uh, this is my favorite thing so far. This is just absolute flavor explosion. Get a gif here, get a gif here. This is excellent. So yeah, here's a taco version with the puree. The chili, the uh, avocado, etc. What do you think? Tastes like Christmas. Tastes like Christmas? Yeah, maybe that's what it is. This is the uh, the tequila m martini and the tuna, which means prickly pear margarita. Basically. What do you think? Wow, that's smooth. That is great. It's great. Great. Here, you gonna try it? That's really nice. It's so lovely. Does it taste like prickly pear? It is nice. I like it a lot. It's a harness. 
Muchas gracias. We have foam, folks. Tomato, banana, pepper, and olives is what makes the broth. They suggest mixing all the textures in each bite. Okay, let's see. We've got a lot of stuff here. <laughs> Different stuff. Let's see. They, they want everything in each bite. I don't know if these are grapes. I don't know what these are. Oh, tomato. They're tomatoes. So let's go. I'm gonna break the broad beans or green beans. There's corn, of course. Let's get a bite of fish. So we definitely have the broad bean. Let's make sure we get corn in here. So tomato, corn, some type of Mexican fish, and green bean. We've got foam. Oh, it's rockfish. Let's go in for it. Hmm. It's very good. It's very tomato forward. The fish is cook perfectly. I'm just getting a lot of tomato. Yeah, the broth is really good. Let's let's go in for one more bite. It's good for me. The last dish was the best. I'm blanking on stuff. It's good. There's a lot going on. For me, this is this is just good. Um, it's, sorry to disappoint, but this is just just good for me. She likes it. Patrick likes it. Chris dog. Chris dog's drinking Christmas. Ah, uh, she's mocking me. Yeah. So, quick cocktail recap. Yunji's was nice, light, and refreshing. Patrick's was very good. It's a tequila martini, but it tastes like a martini. And the vermouth just smelled great. And then Crisia's is a uh, cold mold wine, tastes like Christmas. So this is a mezcal. It is a cuprecata, cuprecata, cupreata. Uh, that was described as very floral. This is a producer called Don Mateo. And when we were at this really cool bar in San Miguel, I saw a lot of people drinking Don Mateo. So when I saw this, I thought I'd give it a try. All right, here goes the uh, mezcal shot. Smells floral. Ooh, that is delicious. So yeah, Cupreata, Cupreata, Don Mateo from Morelia, Michoacan. All right, let's keep the party going. Gracias. Have a little doll of a daisy. Mas tortillas. Two different kinds of mole. The center is the mole nueve or mole, so like the new one, made every day fresh. Red chile oaxacle, some sort of red chili from Oaxaca. Mole oaxaqueño. The, bar, the dark base is the mole madre, almost seven years old. It's possible because no animal products in here. Fruits and water. Black chili Oaxaca. More sweet, chocolatey, or less spicy. Very interesting. Crazy, I like you. It's really good. Now that outside. It's like her childhood in Poyak, which is the Korean word for like medicine, herbal, herbal medicine. Okay, let's go. The new mole, spicier, red, something. Very good. I think I might remember it, but I might be full of crap. This one is four years older than I had it last time. Way more complexity. Yeah, a little bitter, a little sweet. Really good. And let's go half and half. Just like me. That together. Really nice. And now for my next trick, I will get the specially made tortillas with pumpkin seed and I will mix it up.
So I'm going to go mixto again. A little yin yang, a little caramel, chocolate. The colors. Hmm. It's um, much better with the tortilla. They've been making them only seven years, so not surprising they could pair it with a nice taco. So, blue huh. corn, taco tortilla. Sorry, guys. The this is happening to my bloodstream right now. Um, so, blue corn and then pumpkin seeds. Again, a little mixto. Really nice. See you at dessert. Happy birthday, babe. I don't talk about that because I need it to come true. But usually very deep spiritual things. Spiritual? Like forever in life? Yeah. Mine's very superficial. I like how we're just talking about gold. <laughs> Matches your drink. Oh. Muchas gracias. This is the uh, sorbet and ice cream and fruit and looks delicioso. Popular Oaxacan dessert, corn and berries, elderflower. It's all inside Best Buy. Oh, cold. Oh, my God. Have you seen Princess Diaries? It's tasty. And it's cold and tart. It's better than my face is showing. Can you insert the like, Princess Diaries in the Mm-hmm. I like this thing. The um, pink thing on the right, that's nice. And then this. I actually didn't think the white thing was the sorbet. I thought it was going to be creamy. That is so bad, right? Mm. <laughs> actually, separate is better, I think, with the like chilled frozen raspberries in the sorbet. Mm -hmm. Oh, really nice. That is our churro with rock cuba. Churro with rock cuba. Pixley and cinnamon. Pixley is the seed of the moment. It's a tropical fruit. That we serve it with a nice cream made it with calvados. That is a French liqueur of apple and apple puree inside with cinnamon. I want some of the rock. Sugar. The rock sugar. So good. Damn. El Moro is good, but this is so fried, doughy, delicious. Man, this is so good. Oh my god, it's so boozy. Yeah, the brown part. So boozy. Um, this is kind of how I like to end my meal versus like the sorbet, the fruitiness. Give me the boozy, give me the creamy, give me the fried, give me the, the doughy. What else? Mm. Do we give <laughs> <laughs> this is one of my favorite things of everything. That's so good. Love it. I think the, the churro with the um, rock sugar and the ice cream with the French liqueur paste thing might be one of my favorite things. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. So for 
Taco on the cost there. Yeah. Behind the scenes at Pujol. Really good soap. <laughs> Leaving Pujol, very, very positive experience. <laughs> Gracias, hasta luego. Gracias, hasta luego, buen día. It's a video. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's not the. Uh... Happy Saturday. It's not. Chile, Chile, Special Lake Grande. Central used to look like me. It was very quiet. Here we see the cathedral. Here we go. Chaps. More shots. Copycats much? <laughs>